Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the bathroom in the California Grand, so uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump in and have a look. So this is your bathroom pod uh, that's in here, so everything's concealed within here, so open the door, the light comes on, uh, and you come into the bathroom. Plenty of space in here, as I can, can get in quite easily. So first thing you've got is a uh, shower, uh, so it's got a shower tray inbuilt into the bottom of it, so that allows you to have a shower in here. Uh, and the shower function is done off the sink, so... Uh, to use the sink, we just pull the sink out, uh, which then creates the sink area here uh, where you can wash your hands. Uh, and then obviously pull this up, water will come out. Uh, and then if you want it on cold or hot, you can turn it around depending on how you want the water to come out from. The water obviously on one of these would just run straight down. Uh, so this isn't a sink where you could uh, have a, you know, a, a wash effective in it because the water will just run straight off here and into the back part of the unit. Uh, but one thing that can be done uh, is if you lift it up from on here, um, you can pull this out. Uh, so that's your sink tray. I'll put that to one side for a moment. Proper sink it's in here, uh, which has a plug. You've got a plug that goes in there as well. So, for example, if you did just want to wash your hands or you wanted to wash something that was in there, you could take the tray out, for example, uh, and just have that just over that particular area that's there. Uh, and this also doubles up as your shower head. You pull it out, and then your shower head would lock into the top section here. Uh, before I put that in, obviously you've got a mirror here. Uh, this mirror can also swing across to this side. Uh, and then it'll open up your shelving areas so you can have all your toiletries and things that's in here. And as I said, the shower attachment can then go up uh, from in there. As you can see from here, plenty of uh, headroom there to have a shower. And obviously they've got the whole of this area here. So it's, you know, I'm six foot. I'm not the smallest of um, people. So, uh, but I feel like I've got a bit of space in here. As of yet, it's still in the showroom. Not actually used the vehicle yet. So it'll be a little while off that because we uh, oh, haven't taxed any of the vehicles yet. But uh, as soon as we do, we'll be out on the road. Uh, we'll go away for a weekend and we'll actually uh, we'll actually try this and, uh, and see what it's like. And I can give you a report then on what the shower is actually like on the inside. But as I said, there's plenty of space that's in here. So let me move back out again. So shower head itself, as I said, that just comes out and then you would just push it back in. Covers use that shower as well for swilling out. Uh, if you want to clean the bathroom at all or anything like that, you can use a shower head for that. It's your one tap uh, that does everything, and you can move it around, wash the sides down. It's in here. There's a plug at the bottom of the tray, uh, which we'll show you as well. So obviously, then that will drain away. Uh, there's two in the bottom uh, that's here, uh, and then the other thing you've got in here as well, obviously, is you've got your toilet. We're going to do a separate video that shows you how the cassette mechanism works uh, on the toilet. So we'll do that in a, f in a few weeks' time. But that's on the outside of the vehicle of how you how you use that. So the cassette uh, that I mentioned for the uh, for the waste is accessed from the outside of the vehicle. Now, I said we're going to do a separate video on this, but just for the purposes of actually showing you where it is, it's behind this flap. So you just give it a press in and that releases the flap uh, and this is your cassette that's in here uh, so there's a, a bung that's in here which will come out release the catch and that's what your cassette actually looks like obviously everybody's used to a toilet so you lift the toilet up uh, it's got a, uh, a toilet seat um, so uh, I will sit on it with the toilet down but as you can see from on here um, no, there's quite a bit of room in the, in the bathroom facilities to say. Um, obviously the toilet itself has a, a flush mechanism, uh, which is electric, which is just at the back. It's a nice big blue button. Uh, you just press that. Uh, it's on the back there. And that would obviously then spray into the actual toilet itself. Uh, and then there's a, a catch on the bottom here, down in here. And that allows you to open into the actual cassette mechanism and to close it again. So obviously you'd, you'd use the mechanism to flush that, open it up, flush the flush button, uh, and that would then bring everything down into the cassette toilet and then close it back up again as well. And that stops any smells coming back up into the actual, uh, into the vehicle, so it keeps everything airtight within that cassette at the bottom. The toilet as well also has a facility to move. Um, so in its current position, it's facing forward, but you can move it to the side, which obviously then gives you a lot more room, a bit more of a comfortable position um, that's there, so it can move around. You've got a cupboard, just down at the bottom. Let's pull out the cupboards that's in there. You've got a bit of a shelf uh, that's in there, and then you've got some of your controls, uh, some of your pipe work, etc., for your shower. So you'll notice, for example, that is where your shower lead is, uh, which is in here, which you can see. So you have a little bit more storage in there if you needed to put things like, for example, cleaning products and things, you could put those in there as well. And as I said, you've got your, your tray as well that's there. And don't forget the all important toilet roll holder. So that's where your toilet roll holder is, if anybody was wondering. On the back of the door, 
and just shut that back. Also in here we've got the skylight, the mini skylight which is in here which is the same as the other ones outside so we've got to close it off to make it dark and also your fly screen uh, and again this is just a pop-up so press the two sides and just push it up. So the door's shut again now so if you consider all of the things that's in the bathroom so it's in there it's all enclosed in this one small area of the vehicle. There's a lot of things in there uh, which just make the experience a lot, lot better. Again, if you're new to uh, camper vanning and, you, and you're thinking this is the thing for you, these facilities really give you the off-grid experience. So uh, if you're staying on farm sites, if you're staying uh, wild camping or you know, you're know you in car parks and things like that, it just gives you that extra bit of versatility which you wouldn't get on the ocean model or the coast because uh, obviously they haven't got those bathroom facilities there. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I've had a look at the bathroom uh, that's in the Grand California. Uh, so next thing coming up on the Grand California is going to be the uh, kitchen area. We're going to do a vid video on that very shortly. Uh, and good news as well is, is our California Ocean 6.1 has arrived uh, that I ordered a while ago. That's now sitting behind us in the showroom. Uh, so we're going to do some videos on that. And the Coast has arrived as well. Uh, both the same colour, which will be quite interesting seeing out between the two. Uh, but you can see the difference between those. So lots and lots more videos to come. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, uh, as always, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.